my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, but families. I see God through ice covered in the bleach. Cross all the ones who heard my cries and watched me leave. I love everything. Fire spreading It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Yo guys, what is up? Max or no Portland Story video, and today we're going over something that may change the way that you play flag. It's kind of changed the way that I played flag and look at playing flag. So I wanted to share with you guys. This interaction was discovered by my mod CZ47, full credit to him, and allows us to use some different setups and some different kind of builds on flag to output some pretty serious damage. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. This new interaction has to do with Flax class mod, the Bounty Hunter. The Bounty Hunter reads, Flax has a 3% chance to activate any purchased hunt kill skill when dealing gun damage, and bosses are now treated as humans, beasts, and robotics for Flax hunt kill skills. Now, this bottom line is what we're going to be paying attention to. This bottom line, bosses are now treated as humans, beasts, and robotics, works for all enemies in the game for Interplanetary Stalker. Now, Interplanetary Stalker is a skill that depending on the kind of enemy that you kill, you're going to start stacking up different kinds of damage. So for example, if you kill robots, you're going to be getting stacking increases in corrosive damage. However, while the bounty hunter is equipped, this these bonuses stack up and all of them stack up for any enemy you kill. Meaning if you kill a Malawan trooper, you're gonna get increased corrosive damage. Now what this allows us to do with Flak is we get super easy access to increases in corrosive damage. Now, 7.5% with max stacks of three doesn't sound like that much corrosive damage. But when we get big game, which is going to increase the effects of all of our hunter kill skills by 30%, and we have Spider Ant Scorcher with five out of five Barbaric Yop. If you're gonna try this, I really recommend getting five out of five Barbaric Yop, which is gonna give us 200% pet bonuses, which allows this to get a multiplicative damage elemental damage increase of 30%, which is multiplicative with Interplanetary Stalker, leads us to just in our skill tree alone at three out of three stacks of Stalker, getting around 68% more corrosive damage. We're going to be dealing big increases of corrosive damage. However, this also works with other additions to corrosive damage. And one of the artifacts that I like really have never used uh, that's super helpful with this is the Flash Melter. The Flash Melter is going to give us 32% bonus uh, corrosive damage, or sorry, increased corrosive damage at a max stacks of 5 is giving us around, I think, 160 corrosive damage. Now, when you get 5 stacks out of this and 3 stacks of Interplanetary Stalker with all of our bonuses, it leads to around a 274% increase in corrosive damage, or you're dealing 3.74 3 times more corrosive damage, which is pretty freaking ridiculous. Um, and this means that we can do some pretty ridiculous things with the Bounty Hunter against mobbing. Usually, I only use the Bounty Hunter for bossing, and my go-to is the Cosmic Stalker. I use the Cosmic Stalker mainly for mobbing, but now, if you're going to be using corrosive guns and a corrosive setup, you can do really, really well in mobbing with the Bounty Hunter. Plus, it's amazing for bossing, meaning that the Bounty Hunter is now a top your flat class mod uh, for all situations not just bossing if you plan on using corrosive now we can take the most uh, use out of that when we're using uh, mainly corrosive damage and uh, we can also slap in a revolter there because 200 percent increased or 200 percent added shock damage on top of all of the damage that we're already dealing is very nice and it does suck to get uh stuck to just corrosive damage you don't want to be dealing just corrosive damage because uh it is still important to match elements you still need something to tear through those shields whether it be like you rad on these weapons or like a revolter but i've been using corrosive guns like the reflex which i would argue is one of flex best weapons in the entire game which is corrosive locked uh you can use this and the unkempt herald the light show the hive all these corrosive weapons stick them with corrosive damage increases or things that don't actually change the element so like not next to max rad but using consecutive hits splash damage consecutive hits splash damage um to run a corrosive flak build now i will have this save file in the discord not really like a full build video more of i just wanted to talk about this interaction because i think it is really really cool and there really aren't 
like any corrosive only builds or like incentives to play full corrosive builds because all of the immune shields in this game are shock immune rad immune and you see a lot of shock and red uh builds but not really any corrosive and flak does this incredibly well so if you were looking for new gear to farm or a new setup to go try on flak i strongly recommend trying out a bounty hunter with corrosive weapons and a flesh melter if you can get one um giving you just an absurd amount of corrosive damage you will very much notice it against things like wotan uh things like any takedown uh scourge anathema obviously if you are rocking a Grave Ward kill, you're still better off going full fire damage. But uh, for a lot of scenarios, corrosive damage on Flak is really, really strong. So I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I was